hey everyone thank you so much for joining in guys in this particular video of wordpress series we will understand how you can set up the robots.txt file in your wordpress website for seo purpose now what is robots.txt file it is a basic text file which is necessary to communicate what part of your website is accessible to the bot or which part is should not be accessible by the bot of various search engine and it is very mandatory to have a robots.txt file in your wordpress website because if there is no robot.txt then of course it will be a error from seo point of view plus your bot will be able to access all the pages by default and in that case maybe some uh, you know sensitive parts of your website and some admin part of the website will also be indexed and shown in the search engine result pages without your permission and that will not be a good experience for the user as well as from the you know security point of view so how to set up the robots.txt file that is the agenda so in order to have a robots.txt file set up come back to your wordpress now here you need a seo plugin so you can choose any plugin so there are two or three plugins so if i just search for seo there will be two to three plugins which are popular that is yoast seo rank math seo all in one seo so whatever plugin you are using you can go with that in this video i will show you how to do it with yoast seo so just click on yoast seo and of course i have already installed it so it is asking for update i will update it you need to install and activate the plugin once the plugin is properly activated and updated you will see an option called yoast seo on the left hand side just hover on it click on tools and once you click on tools, if there is an option of pop-ups, just close it. Now there is an option called file editor. This tool allows you to quickly change important files of your SEO like your robots.txt. So just click on file editor and it will show you the robot.txt file. So by default, robot.txt file, if it is not created, although it by default create by, you know, the Yoast SEO plugin, but if it create robots.txt file, Click on this button and once you click on the by default format of robot.txt file is generated by the Yoast SEO plugin. Now we need to customize. So of course we don't need these comments. We can remove and we can get rid of this basic template of any robots.txt file. So this is the standard format of robots.txt file if you are using a WordPress website. Now what are what is the meaning of these three to four lines? The first is user agent star. It means every kind of bot, whether it is Google bot, Bing bot, Yahoo bot, any kind of search engine bot, they are allowed to call the website. That is the meaning of star. Disallow WP admin. It means whatever bot is coming onto website, we are asking or requesting that please don't crawl my WP admin because it is control panel and I don't want to show it in your search engine result pages. So please don't crawl it and please don't access it. Allow WP admin slash admin hyphen ajax.php. Although we have disabled the WP admin, but there are some parts or some files of WP admin folder, which we want Google crawler to be, you know, accessed so that our website readability or accessibility is increased. So we have allowed a specific file so that crawler can understand that, okay, this website is made in WordPress and there is a file as well. And the last line is sitemap. So whatever sitemap we have created for our website, that is the URL for this website. And if you don't know how to create a sitemap, of course, you can watch this video in order to create a sitemap of your WordPress website. Once the changes are done, click on save changes, save changes to robot.txt file. And that's how your robots.txt file is created. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.